Westworld season two is coming soon and with it we have a lot of new photos that might take us to places we didn't expect quite yet. Let's take a look. So these all come from Entertainment Weekly, which always seems to get the scoop. And it reveals a lot of characters, including Tessa Thompson's Charlotte Hale, uh, who we thought was maybe dead as back. Uh, Dolores has a bandolier, which means she has fully committed to human murder. Also returning, Ashley Stubbs. It's not really clear. Uh, you may have remembered halfway through the first season, one of the characters disappeared, and she doesn't seem to be in any of these, so I don't know about her. I'm a little concerned. It's still a mystery. Um, I did expect that photo of the the hosts, or not the hosts, the humans wandering around bedraggled in the wild. I didn't expect this one though, which has Evan Rachel Wood as Dolores kind of changed up in a new outfit, uh, less like her Western garb. Now we see the goo host, I think, from the opening titles is uh, out and wandering around in a more creepy fashion than ever before. Now he's a main character here with the main cast. Uh, maybe not, but that would be really interesting to see um, since it's not really, it reminds you more starkly that they're not really human. Maybe they're more than human. We also see Ed Harris returning as the man in black, which I think he can be, he will be around for a while. What's more interesting or more confusing is whether or not we will see the young version of him back again in flashbacks. I think it's been hinted that he is, but it has not been shown in these pictures. I have at least. I love this because we see Maeve and Dolores teaming up. Before, it was like two parallel storylines of self discovery self-realization, um, and what you do with that information. If they're teaming up, they can't be stopped or it could just be a staged photo for the likes of a regular magazine cover, a magazine like Entertainment Weekly perhaps. There's a lot more to come in this. Uh, it hasn't really been stated outwardly if Robert Ford is returning. However, I would be shocked if they did not include him in some way. There will be a young version of Robert Ford as well, who will be making an appearance in season two. Uh, when talking about the season, Jonathan Nolan called it the journey outward, saying we want to feel like the show is rocketing ahead. The first season was a journey inward, this is a journey outward. It's a search for what else is in the park, and what else is beyond the park, which sounds like a great idea because this is such a great sci-fi concept, but there's so many ways for it to fizzle out as we've seen so many sci-fi shows do in their sophomore or third or fourth seasons or even longer than that if they're lucky enough to get that many seasons. Uh, but I like where this is going because you kind of, it, it mirrors a human experience in a lot of ways, which is what good sci-fi often does. But we see the discovery of oneself and what one was designed to be what people view you as and how you view yourself all in contrast with each other or going along with each other. And then after that, it's like, what do you do with this information? You move forward, you do something else. I'm talking to you, the walking dead. And I, I, I like that they're doing this at all. And when we're talking about what's outside the park, it has been revealed that there are five Delos parks. This was on their fake marketing website for the company. But we do know that the, the world that we saw in the finale was not samurai world, it's shogun world, which could be fantastic for visuals in the upcoming season. I would love to see all five parks. I would like to know what the other parks are as well and go into those. Though that could be without reason for just the cool factor that could be a, a bad place to take a sci-fi show such as this. When we're exploring more complex topics on top of just the technology, on top of just look at this futuristic world and the wonderful things in it. There has to be something behind it, something, some greater amount of discovery and understanding. And the things that make the trappings of a wonderful sci-fi show such as this, but I have a lot of faith in it. Judging by season one and how well that went, I think the show, though popular, is criminally underrated. So you can check that out. The 10 episode second season premieres on Sunday, April 22nd on HBO. What do you think of it and where do you think they're gonna go? Please let me know on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>